Hey Rocky, it's Miss Peebles, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the new class coming up for science called Intro to Health Science. So I'll go over the fact that this is a career-focused science course, which looks a little different than your other science classes, any prerequisites, and the approaches for this class. So career-focused science takes a look at health sciences as a whole and says there's lots of different pathways what are those pathways and then helping you kind of discern if you're interested in one more than the other so diagnostic is any of your doctors all of them are under that umbrella therapeutic and support services range from nurses to radio techs and everything in between health informatics is the technology behind health science huge field constantly changing so important and then lastly, biotech research and development. Think of your pathologists, the people who study the infectious disease or develop vaccination, doing that lab work that supports these other pieces. You do need to have taken biology and gotten a C or better. And this will really be an application of material. So we'll explore those pathways. We'll practice some employability skills. There will be a job shadow requirement with this class. And ultimately, my goal is to help you develop a plan for the pathway you're most interested in. And, you know, meet people in the field. Go to our front range and see what that, what that next step is beyond high school. If you're not sure if this is right for you, there's two questions that really come to mind. The first is, are you interested in health problems or outcomes? Students in this field in health science really want to know about population health. So when you're thinking of things like the current COVID pandemic, well, why are certain people at more risk? And what happens when a hospital gets at capacity? And what are the sort of supportive um, therapeutics we have for people? So looking at all those different pieces, what are the reasons that make individuals unhealthy or they make unhealthy choices? What are factors that are outside their control? Genetics, environment, etc. So we look at all of those things. If you're interested in that, this is for you. And then lastly, if you have a strong aptitude for life science, you've taken biology or any of the other courses, and you're thinking, well, what do I do about it? What is a career or what, what can I go to college to study? That's another thing I can help you figure out. So if you like those technical fields that take the math and the social science and the scientific knowledge, pulls it all together to apply to problems in the real world, this is where we'll look at that and develop a plan. Uh, please contact me if you have any questions. There's my email. You can always find me in room 514. Keep in mind this is open to grades 10 and 11 and offers five science credits. I look forward to hearing from you. Rock on.